Is your dog or puppy afraid to go up and down the steps? Or maybe he's not too sure about his doggy steps or his doggy ramp. If so, you're going to want to stay tuned for today's video. Thanks for joining us again today. I'm Tanya and this is my sidekick Dexter. And today I'm going to give you a few tips on how to teach your dog or puppy to use their steps or to go up and down your household steps. I'm going to demonstrate first with Dexter with his steps and his ramp. Then I'll flash back to little puppy Haru going down his basement steps so you'll get to see a new puppy in action. So first thing first, as you may already know, jumping down from objects such as a sofa or a bed is really hard on your dog's body. They actually can cause injury to their shoulders, their spine, and their neck. So it's a no-no in our house. I have steps butted up to Dexter's sofa. Yes, it is Dexter's sofa. I also have a ramp right in front of my bed, so he uses that. And I will say too, that our cat also prefers going up and down the steps when available. If your dog used to go up and down the steps and now all of a sudden is having issues, please speak to your dog's veterinarian. There could actually be a medical issue that needs to be addressed first. And if that's all cleared up, then it might be a behavioral issue, and then we'll address that right here in today's video. Think about the steps as well in your house. Some steps are actually slick, and they are not carpeted. This can be really challenging for a dog. If at all possible, please consider adding a runner to your steps for your dog. It's going to be much safer. Also, if you have indoor steps, I would highly recommend a baby gate so that your dog doesn't do a tumble down the steps and hurt himself. This is actually more common than you might think. Dexter saying, let's get on with it. I know you have treats in your pocket. Let's get on with this demo. So, treats in hand. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lure Dexter to a sitting position. And you're just thinking one step at a time. So I'm going to lure him here, yes and treat for two paws there. With a new dog, as you'll see with Haru, this could take some encouragement and some time. So yes and treat. And for Dexter, it's, it's also about going slow. And then yes and treat. I have a couple treats in my hand. And then yes and treat. And going up, you're going to lure over that first step. Yes and treat. And you might be encouraging your dog along the way. I just said you're a good boy. You're so brave. Oh, what a handsome boy. You're such a smart boy. Such a good boy. Good job. That's so good. Good boy. That's a good boy. And this stage might actually take some time. It might be more than one session. I want to reward any little bit that my dog gives me. So even one step down, a little look, all that's fantastic. What a good, brave boy you are. So let's flash in and see little Haru. All right, so we have Haru at the top of the stairs who doesn't want to come down. I'm going to reward him for little bits. Good job. Very good job. Good boy, Haru. Good boy. That's a good boy. The other thing is I can be the buffer. All right, ready? Over here. Good boy, go ahead. Go ahead. He's like, I don't trust you. What are you going to do? Good boy. Good boy. So he's a lap dog, obviously. So I'm putting my leg over here. So we can see if he wants to put his feet on my leg instead. Those are the other dogs versus this big jump down here. Good job. Good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. Just about that confidence. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Come down to this side. Yeah, good job. Good boy. You can still use me as a buffer. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Got it? Good boy. Go ahead. You want to see it? So it's in my hand down here. And I'm just giving you a step by step because I have no idea what the camera is actually picking up. Good job. I typically, if I can get the dog to the bottom of the steps, <laughs> so like, you know, versus the top of the steps, it's always easier to go down two steps versus looking way down at that whole 
shebang of steps. Now I'm going to go pick him up because he's comfortable with me picking him up. So I'm going to pick him up and we're going to go to that third step here. Yeah? Good job! What a good boy! Yay! Good job, see? Less scary when it's not so far down. Also, the top of this set of steps is um, slick, tile -y. Versus both being on carpet. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Very nice. So just a treat to the nose. A little lure. Good boy. Good job. Whoops. <laughs> I dropped it. Those are the other dogs saying, are you coming, Haru? Are you coming? Yeah, you got a big old tail wag. A happy goofy tail wag, yes. Good boy. <laughs> He's like, should I go back up? Ready? Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can give him a buffer of me again. Good boy. So he sees my lap, that safety of my lap. Good boy. So maybe I'll get a little closer. Yay, good job. There. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Haru. Good job. Oops. Oopsie the treat. <laughs> Good boy, Haru. Good boy. <coughs> Come down this way. Good boy. You got it. So I'm not forcing it. I'm not pushing him down or picking up feet or anything like that, am I? Ooh. Way to go. Good boy. But again, I do want to get to the step. Yeah? How about if I go down there? Do you want to do that yourself? Maybe my buffer is being too much of a crutch. Oh, each dog's different. So I'm going to go down one. So he can see my lap. But more like, let's get to your lap. Yeah? Good boy. Good boy. You also want to make sure that the steps are safe. So this is much more challenging if the steps aren't carpeted. And if that's the case, I would really look at a, a very secure runner or even like the black grippy things. Just, just flat out slick. Good job. Really scary, not very safe. Dogs need their nails, and they use them as cleats to catch in, um, <laughs> which is why they, they do walk better on carpet versus walking on tile, because there's just nowhere for them to grasp. So if you do have um, all tile, you might want to look at a product like Toe Grips that gives them grippy. <laughs> and definitely make sure that their nails are always very trim. The longer they are, the harder. Because he did grab my lap. So I want to see. Yeah, it's a good boy. I want to see. Like, we have one more step. So, um, right there is the ground. <laughs> you're not going to need dinner tonight. I think you just ate your dinner. There it is. Can you get that one? Can you get that one? Yeah, go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get it. And I don't mind that he comes back up either because coming back up and then going back down is almost like another repetition. Instead of just harder, 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 it gets them to do it again, which I like. So, I'm sorry, it's right here. Oh, oh, big burpees. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Treat back. You got your butt up there. There you go. That was good. Can do a little jackpot here. Good boy, Haru, right there. Good boy, dear. Good boy. Yay. All right. And then you'd be starting over tomorrow. So it's an ongoing thing. Now, some dogs find ramps much easier to navigate because we don't have that height. So here, you're going to have to find a step that has the right height for your dog. If you have a little tiny dog and the step is too high, it can be like trying to climb Mount Everest. 
So you also want to make sure that you're paying attention to that height for your dog and the stability. So if it's too wobbly, that might really scare them. They might not want to do that. And again, back to that carpet, we want to make sure that there's a nice grip there for your dog. And the width, we want to make sure that that's a good width for your dog too. The wider, usually the better. The shallower the step, usually the better too. So on a ramp, about the same, except for Again, might be a little easier for some dogs because there's not those steps to navigate. And then you're just going to lure, good boy, and then treat. Good job. You always want to pay close attention to your dog and their behavior to make sure that they're not falling off of places. So especially with some silly dogs or blind dogs, you're going to want to make sure that your steps or your ramp have a rail so they don't tumble off. So with the ramp, you can do a little cookie trail. And then on this step, you're going to want to pull that cookie further up. Good boy! And you can do the cookie trail down. <laughs> or you can take your food in your hand, and I'm going to lure him and treat him along the way. So lure and then treat, and then lure and then treat. Good job! That was crunchy, huh? And then you can take the food, and then lure, and then treat, <laughs> and then lure and then tree. Going down can be really scary, especially on a set of stairs in the house, because we have that real deep, long, oh my gosh. Sometimes you can just pick up your puppy or your dog and go towards the bottom of the steps, work two steps up, and then two steps down, two steps up, two steps down, three steps up, three steps down, because then it won't be so scary. Basement steps can be a challenge sometimes if the basement's really dark or if it's kind of a scary corner. So you want to really take a look at those steps from your puppy's point of view to see, is it scary? Is it dark? Am I leaning over the edge? Do I have secure footing? So hopefully this video provided you with a few tips to help your dog or puppy use his stairs. If so, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can click the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, you can check out my private Patreon page. The link is below. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we'll see you in the next video. Good boy. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage He's a goofy old Dexter the dog He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog The baddest part that there ever was